awesome. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice just a few minutes out of your day really does mean the world to me. So thank you. You are awesome. And today we're going to be talking about the new Netflix film, Wounds. This one's a very tricky one. This is a very tricky one because I'm a guy that always likes to see the positives in films. I understand just how difficult it is to make films. Um, I say that like I've made one. I've never actually made a feature length film, so I wouldn't know exactly. But I have a deep respect for people that pursue their passion and make films. It really is an incredible art form. So I always try to look for the positives. And leaving this film, I'm really having to look at the positives. This film is going to be incredible. I've got, I've got a lot of thoughts about this film ultimately. Um, because honestly, the first 90% I absolutely loved. I absolutely loved it. And just the final few minutes, it just feels like the movie really just jumped headfirst off of a cliff into just obscurity and nothing, and it just ended. And I was like, okay, is that the ending? Like, I was legitimately disappointed. And I think the biggest problem is the film has so many good ideas, and it tries to come up with all of these fancy, spooky, what are we going to do ideas. And then it just doesn't deliver on any of them. If you guys can hear my brother laughing, he's busy gaming and he's right outside. So sorry about that. You will occasionally hear him yelling or shouting or something. But as I was saying, this film has a lot of good ideas and it has a ton of potential. But I feel like the filmmakers, what they did is they, they were just like, cool, let's just throw everything at the wall. Let's just throw all of our ideas, all of our potential at this wall and then just not conclude any of it. I was left with so many questions that the filmmakers didn't even try to answer. And that's a big bummer for me. It really is. I understand that you want to leave mystery in your films and stuff like that. But this, this film left nothing concluded. Literally, I wouldn't even call the ending to the film a conclusion because it doesn't answer any questions. It doesn't conclude any story arcs, maybe one between the two leads. But you're left wondering what's going to happen to all of the characters. There's no concrete ending. Everything is just open-ended. And I understand you do get open-ended films. I do understand that. But I feel like those films are open-ended for a reason. And I feel like this one's open-ended because they legitimately couldn't think of a conclusion. That's just the feeling I get from this film. And it's really, it's really, really, really disappointing because I thoroughly enjoyed this film. As I said, up until the very end, this was a film that grabbed me from the very beginning. Honestly, the opening scene, it's literally just three guys hanging out in a bar. A drunk guy comes in, they interact with this drunk guy. Drunk guy gets into a brawl. Just normal bar stuff. But it was shot brilliantly. The acting is incredible. And so I was just really engrossed with the scene. Like It was a beautiful opening scene and it was simple. I feel like nowadays everything has to be larger than life and big and boom and fantastic. I mean, like we need to really grab the audience's attention. But this film really just was like, hey, you want to come watch? Come watch. It's us. It's, it's fun. You're welcome to come join us. That was terrible. I'm never going to do anything like that again. But this film just let you in nicely and gently and introduced you to these characters in what felt like a very real organic way. Oh, sorry, I've, I've, I've mainly just been rambling. I haven't actually constructed this video well at all. I do apologize. But basically, Wounds is about this bartender and he's played by Army Hammer. And honestly, he was really good in this film. I really enjoyed his performance. And then another performance that surprised me um, was Dakota Johnson. And you guys might know her from Fifty Shades. It's a franchise I've never even wa I've never watched any of the films. It just never grabbed me. But like the scenes I saw on YouTube and stuff, she never wowed me with her performance. So her performance here was, was a bit of a surprise to me as well. I wouldn't say she, she did the best job ever, but she, she, what she did surprised me. It really did. And all of the performances, I can't say that there was necessarily a weak performance by anyone turned up in this film. Everyone dove into their characters. They made me believe that they were who they were. And it's just really disappointing that the film ends up not giving you any resolution with these characters at all. Like, you really grow to like these characters. And th this is what actually really I liked about the film, is even our main character, he's so incredibly flawed. He is not a perfect character. I would say he's deeply troubled, to be 100% honest. He's got some really bad habits and he's got some really bad hobbies, like unhealthy hobbies. I mean, he's a flipping druggie, does cocaine at one point. But you still support the guy. He's still a genuinely nice guy. But the, again, in the final five minutes, it, the flip just switches and he does something that I completely thought was completely out of character. And then the film just ends. Literally, it's just black. And I, it was so disappointing. And again, 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 this film just poses so many questions and it gives you... It, 
I just have so many questions. I'm not going to get into them because I want you to experience them for yourself. And maybe I'm just like really stupid and I just don't get the dots. Like maybe there are dots and I've got to try to connect them and I just can't for whatever reason. But I really feel like this film really just, again, threw everything against the wall and had no idea how it was going to conclude it. You always see those YouTube videos like where it's like the ending to dot 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 explained. I'm probably going to have to watch one of those videos to make any sense out of this whatsoever. But um, honestly, the ending, and I, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of not being spoon-fed information. Like, I, I think a lot of modern films have this problem where they try to spoon-feed the audience information. This film, however, was like, here is all of your food, and it just throws it at your face. And you're supposed to eat it all and try and make sense of it, but it's like coming at you 100 miles an hour. Yeah, sorry, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to... The conclusion was really frustrating. Sorry, that's probably why I'm spending so much time on it. But the conclusion really, really annoyed me. But yeah, so let, let's look at the positives. Let's look at the positives. Awesome sound design. Great, great script. Like, the performances were awesome and, and the script felt really real. So you got these really interesting, awesome, just realistic dynamics and interactions between the characters, which was lots of fun to watch, especially in the opening scene. I loved this opening scene. But yeah, guys, that is my review on Wounds. Good film. It, 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 honestly, from a filmmaking perspective, great film. From a storytelling perspective, awesome film. Until the final 10 minutes. In the final 10 minutes, the final scene, actually, just as a matter of fact, just that final scene, I was so disappointed by it. And it's ruined my opinion of the entire film, unfortunately. Like, it did such a good job of getting me invested in these characters' lives and caring about these characters just to ignore it all for the final scene and i do not understand why i just i do not get it i don't get it at all but guys would i recommend the film yeah it's it's an enjoyable film i definitely enjoyed it and i hope the ending doesn't ruin it for all of you especially now that i've pretty much told you the ending is not nice but the rest of the film was awesome. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You're awesome. You're just the best. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this channel. Give the video a like. And I hope to see you soon.